Hello everyone! This is again Francisco and Simon from the Nice Game Headquarters in Bonn. So it's time for an update and it's a pretty big update because we are revealing now the 2023 lineup. Right, we've been so busy in the last few months um, preparing these games and um, making everything ready for the fall that you didn't really hear from us, but now we are going to make up for it with the full lineup. So it's going to be six titles, five of them are going to be available on Essen and then uh, we hope beginning of next year we will have the other one. And exactly. which... Which are these titles? First of all, there is a really cool game that we found on Kickstarter with a really unique theme and really unique mechanisms. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's Empire's End. Exactly, by John D. Clare. We uh, saw it and we immediately want to do it because it has really nice graphics. But what really um, convinced us of this game is that it's a reverse bidding game, like uh, No Thanks or Geschenk ist noch zu teuer in German, but with a much bigger scale mm -hmm. than the original. We yeah. each have our own empire and these empires are in decline. And each round we are bidding in order not to take a disaster that's been mm. drawn. So it's about making the most out of these disasters that are happening in every round. Exactly, because uh, you're going to lose something every round. Either you're going to lose the resources that you're bidding to mitigate or to avoid taking the disaster, or you're going to lose one of your provinces that's doing something for your, for your empire. This is probably something that not everyone will love, because people generally love in games to build up more and to get more and more and more and so this is kind of um, the opposite of that but i think that's the the attractive thing that it's the anti-civilization game right? exactly it's like you you uh, destroy your civilization or you yeah. like it's going down all the time and so that's just really like good. our civilization <laughs> just like our civilization our company <laughs> our personal lives we're, we're all gonna eventually yeah. decline that's coming out uh, by nice game publishing in german and it's going to be available in S. Exactly. And actually, if you're interested, you can play it on Tabletop yeah. Sim right now, the English version, and you can see if it's to your liking. Then we have a, a title that might be familiar to, to some, at least some part of the, the title, Jekyll and Hyde. But this time they're not against each other. They are working together. Exactly. What a twist. Uh, so we initially were not sure if this was going to make it for this year. So we didn't mention it in any earlier um, announcements, but actually it's going to be ready and it's coming for Essen. The second part of the trick-taking lineup uh, line mm -hmm. now, serious now, which it didn't used to be. Um, and as you said, it's not a um, competitive trick-taking game this time around for two players, but it is a cooperative trick-taking game. We played a bunch of this before uh, committing to it, and I have to say it's a really nice twist that preserves a lot of the things that were great about yep. Jekyll versus Hyde while at the same time uh, changing it up a lot because clearly if you're um, uh, playing cooperatively you have to play in a very different way. Yeah. So you still have for example these uh, powers that are attached to the different sets mm -hmm. uh, but they are different of course they do different things and in this case uh, you are working against the Scotland Yard. Exactly. So the way it works is you actually have a third um, kind of dummy player in the trick taking, which is Scotland Yard. And you have to try and work with your partner without talking to each other while you play uh, in order to reach various goals. So one important thing is that this game has a campaign. So oh, it's yes. a campaign game and through the campaign, different things will come into play and will make the game a bit harder. Another thing about the campaign is that you actually you can score um, good or bad in each of the scenarios. And so you can try, after you've beat it mm -hmm. the first time, you can try and uh, improve on your score by playing even better. So um, I think it's 10 chapters in total that you yeah. can play through. 
Some of those are the initial um, intro chapters, but anyway, the whole thing, you can play it uh, several times and try to uh, improve your score each time. Uh, overall, I think it's a really worthy successor to the first game. And uh, I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy the heck out of it as well. Yeah, that's also coming in German by Nice Game Publishing in Essen. And next up, we have something different, some more like party game related. Exactly. I mean, we're not completely new to party games. We yeah, did yeah. show me your sound as well. And I mean, and hunch. some people would say hunch is a party. Some people would Hardcore say it's a deduction game. game. Uh, we're making another party game and this time uh, with dead people because we thought that's a cool thing. Uh, and so what you're talking about is obviously Vip Rip. Basically what you do in this game is you again have, um, uh, you, you have one player who is uh, the Undertaker. And uh, this Undertaker um, sees uh, an amount of dead mm, famous characters. Yeah, they could be fictional mm. or real. Exactly. And now mm, he buries basically... She. Uh, sorry, she, yes. The Aurora, the, the Undertaker. She buries three of them and gives a grave inscription to each of them, which is um, a popular proverb because there's a deck with dead people or with famous characters and a dead deck with proverbs. And so then the other players have to uh, basically determine which inscription is supposed to describe which of the VIPs. And also something important is that since this is the German edition, the, it's uh, like German proverbs, like typical German proverbs. And also in the characters, we worked a lot on characters that are uh, relatable to the German audience. Anyway, check it out. Uh, Vip Rip, it's going to be available in Essen as well. Another um, smaller project is actually an expansion to one of last year's titles. And of course, I'm talking about Tough Course nach dem Untergang. We are uh, releasing um, the first expansion for Tough Course, which is called um, Emergencies and Challenges in English. Uh, Notfälle und Herausforderungen in Deutsch. It's, uh, um, I would say, a well-rounded package. It includes new material for the old scenarios and it includes two new um, mechanisms, mm -hmm. so to say. The emergencies and mm -hmm. the challenges. And what, what is this? Um, well, first of all, the emergencies, they are like your normal um, uh, problem cards or question cards that you have in the game. But these are questions that you cannot avoid. So they get mm -hmm. shuffled into the deck uh, before the game and they, but they have a, a red yeah. backside. And so when you draw your questions for your round and you have one of the red ones, one of the emergencies, you have to answer that one. And obviously they are a little bit more mm, concrete and direct mm -hmm. than some of the more abstract questions in the in the base game. Yes, and the challenges I think are a really cool thing that really um, drive the game into the direction that it was meant to be. Yeah. Basically, there are prompts for you to to try and extend the world in a specific way. So, for example, one of the challenges might be um, invent a new or a, a traditional uh, celebration yeah. that they have in, in your colony or invent a, a saying mm -hmm. um, that has been used for a long time in the colony and things like this. Mm -hmm. Basically it gives you a guide and inspiration on what you can do to make the world more vivid and more, more rich for everyone. And I think that's a really cool so, yeah, I think it's like a no-brainer for people who enjoy already the, the base game. This is just more and also more, you know, with these emergencies, uh, they add a bit also to, to, to the main game. Right. And right. then we have a title that maybe it will be familiar to you because it's not a new title, but it's a new version, a new edition of Adele. Exactly. So um, we actually were very happy with the success we had with Adele. This is not just a reprint. This is a new edition with a lot of uh, small but significant mm -hmm. updates, I would say. 
that make it a, a better experience overall. Yeah. So this time we have uh, full player references with all the info that you might need. We've updated the rulebook. We've clarified mm -hmm. some of the, um, uh, along with the original publisher, of course, uh, who did most of this work anyway, improved the iconography or the, the way yeah. some of the material integrates. Now we go to kind of the last one, which is not going to be in Essen, but we still need to talk about it because it's also like a, one of the bigger projects that we have on the pipeline and it's hopefully coming the beginning of next year okay, so what we're talking about is obviously slay the spire mm -hmm. the the board game not the video game and it the exact time of arrival is not yet clear as always with kickstarters there's a lot of stuff that has to be um, optimized and coordinated between many different uh, places especially with a big project like this. So um, if you are interested in that process, actually you can head over to the Kickstarter page uh, and participate in that process. Um, but anyway, the point is, this is gonna be a really big and really cool thing, um, especially if you already know the video yeah. game and you wanna play it on your table with your friends in a cooperative uh, analog way maybe early next year. Um, I think that's a realistic um, mm -hmm. timeline. And I'm actually hoping that we will have something to show in Essen at least, uh, yep. like a prototype that you can play physically there. And could also be possible that we might offer pre-orders in Essen, but that's going to be confirmed a bit later. Yes, so if you're interested in Slay the Spire German version, definitely also watch this space. So I think that's all of the, the games that we have on the pipeline. Uh, it's a lot. Um, it's a lot. And I think we are pretty happy with the, the ones that we are coming out this year. Uh, looking forward to see how people react in Essen. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, um, it's going to be a very interesting and um, full booth this year with so many novelties. Follow the channel because uh, if you are interested in any of these games, we will be publishing in the coming months some videos uh, with the game, uh, showing off the game and explaining how they work. We still don't have a copies to show, but that uh, in a few months, I think we will have some. So we will post like a sneak peeks and uh, gameplay videos of all of the titles before Essen. Yes. Thank you very much for your attention, guys. See you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. This is uh, uh, this wasn't planned, by the way. No, 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 no. But yeah. it's a really good game. I'm yeah. happy you like it. I'm happy you like it too. I wonder who who published it. <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, yeah. I think we maybe they are around somewhere. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> Where?